Peabody here, and I'll be with you as soon as Sherman completes his geography lesson. One last question, Chairman. I see this spot on the globe. That's China, Mr. Peabody. Correct. Now tell me, what is a China clipper? A barber. It would seem you need a little brushing up. Therefore, today's historical destination will be China. Oh, boy! While we're there, I can learn how to play chopsticks. Oh, you need a lot of brushing up, my boy. Wasting no further time, I set the way back machine for the year 214 B.C. and the place, the borderline of China proper and Mongolia. In less time than it takes to chop a bowl of suey, we found ourselves standing in the center of the bleak wastelands of Mongolia. What are we going to do here? We are going to witness the building of the Great Wall of China. Well, who's going to build it? I don't see anyone. True, there wasn't a soul in sight. However, five minutes later, the place was swarming with ferocious-looking Mongols, led by the legendary Fungus Khan. Now, hear this, you guys. We ravage Mongolia until there's nothing left to ravage. Now, we gonna extend same courtesy to China. Aso! Aso! With that, they spurred their horses toward the border. Is there anything we can do to stop them? There certainly is. Knowing Mongolia like the back of my paw, we were able to take a shortcut and cross the border into China well ahead of the oncoming horde. Look, Mr. Peabody, there's a house. It belonged to a wealthy merchant named Chop Suey Louie, who had made a fortune exporting chow mein. What is all this jazz about oncoming horde? It's true, Mr. Louie, the Mongols are going to ravage China. Well, live and let live. So long as they don't bother me, I don't care. Yes, but the route they're taking happens to come right through this house. I don't believe it. That's the 1015 for Moscow. It's running late as usual. Well, if it was, it left the conductor behind. You better take it on land, Buster. We coming through here every day. Adios. I guess you believe us now, huh, Mr. Louis? But Louis was no longer with us. A quick search of the building turned him up in the basement, packing enough fortune cookies to last at least a year. What are you doing, Mr. Louis? I'm getting out while getting is good. I can only surmise that Fungus Khan has intimidated you. No, but he got me plenty scared. Sure enough, his cue had turned snow white, which is a delightful fairy tale, I might add. Don't let him bluff you, Mr. Louis. Be firm. Stop him from coming through your house. That was all the incentive Louis needed. The following morning, after laboring at the borderline for five hours, he joined us over a steep bowl of bird's nest soup. That takes care of Fungus Khan. Gee, Mr. Peabody, I'll bet he built the Great Wall of China. Knowing that only I could construct the Great Wall in the short time of five hours, we turned to the window and saw that my suspicions were correct. No trespassing. Will that stop them, Mr. Peabody? This question was quickly answered for at that very moment. Stand back, Louis gonna vamoose. He can't go, Mr. Peabody. Isn't he supposed to build the Great Wall? Great Wall? What is a Great Wall? It's the one thing that will keep the Mongols out of China. That's a good idea. I'm going to build it. Being a man of considerable means, he hurried to the nearest rock shop. I want 1,200 million pieces of rocks. Uh, you want that to go? No, I'm going to eat it here, smarty. His next stop was a cement shop directly across the street. Give me 44 million bag of cement. Oh, uh, you want that uh, gift lot? Dashing to the borderline, he threw himself into his work. At dawn the following day, Sherman and I ascended the hill overlooking the Mongol plains, and there, thundering their way toward the border, were Fungus Khan and his men. Marvelous horsemanship, Mr. Peabody. Yes, but when they see that wall, I suddenly recalled that we hadn't seen the wall, and when we did... Oh, my gosh, he built it straight up into the air. Obviously, this would never stop the Mongols. All they had to do was ride around it. I had to act and act fast. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty great wall, huh? Stand aside, Louis. There's no time to lose. A rapid analysis of the formation enabled me to locate the all-important keystone. Just as the Mongols poured over the hill, I deftly plucked the keystone out and... The structure toppled to earth, forming a great wall 1,500 miles long. As for the Mongols, they experienced their own version of a Wall Street crash. Well, it's all done, Mr. Peabody. But why is Chop Suey Louie planting acorns on top of it? Well, obviously, Sherman, he hopes someday to raise walnuts. <laughs>